Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, congratulations. You clicked on a video where you had an intuitive nudge and here you are. Come on in here. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of me for listening to my higher self to do this spiritual download is guided by my divine ancestors. And I'm really absolutely, honestly, at our first meeting absolutely proud of you for listening to your instincts now listen you're going to continue to use those instincts by way of your discernment when it comes to this reading okay as i put the information down as the downloads come in you are being required to listen to your intuition by way of discernment to determine what parts of the story belong to you and what does not just leave it for somebody else to take make it easy don't force it where it does not fit. That is my recommendation. That is my spiritual disclaimer. However, we all have free will. You can do with your will what you want, when you want, if you will, if you won't, and if you shall, you shan't. Whatever it is, we can and we will. And so we shall give you this spiritual download. We mean and me and my whole spirit team are coming to represent. Listen. If you're returning back to the channel, you know we support everybody in their energy. Be that good, bad, or indifferent. Come on in here. Get this spiritual work. Listen, you are my beautiful soul tribe family. I think about you all day. I love you so much. I love the messages that y'all send me. Yes, my description box needs to be updated. I am not, I repeat, doing personal readings right now. But here's the blessing, okay? That's not the worst of the news. The blessing is your reading is 99.9% .9 chance that it's going to come out in the public eye on the platform. So if it resonates with you and you're talking to your spirit team and they say so into the ministry, so into the ministry. If they tell you not, then don't. Listen, my biggest prayer for my soul team is that you're obedient to your higher self and your spirit team and your ancestors. Listen. If you're being told to pray for somebody, do it. If you're being told to stop praying for somebody, do that too. Listen, I love you, Soul Tribe. We are lit. We are live. We are out here, inside, over there, everywhere. Omnipresent energy is what I'm getting by way of my Soul Tribe family. Tap in, tap in. Ooh, tell a friend I just heard. Listen, Soul Tribe. I tried it, tried. I tried it on that note. Okay, that's enough. Listen, it's always a party when you come to the platform. So put on your best attire. Get your spring water. Maybe you want to have a glass of wine, my friend. Or maybe you're taking a shot of courage. <coughs> maybe you're taking a shot of some holy water. Maybe. <laughs> You're sipping on the truth because you walk in the truth and you need truth and clarity. Listen, come on in here. So there is a worker that was found guilty, an apprentice working with a <laughs> Trinidadian. Is that a word? We're going to make it one today. He wants to tell his story. A Trinidadian high priest, masculine, doing a lot of work. This is a good high priest. This is somebody who's fair and just. Okay, they work with the spirits. They know how to help people heal, okay? But somebody was working alongside them that wasn't so nice, not so much, my friend. Somebody was doing something wrong. Ooh, let me just see what they're telling me. Hold on. I just heard he has a right to a fair trial. The apprentice? Okay, well, let's get into it here in spiritual court. He has a right to a fair trial, is what this apprentice is saying. So somebody tried to. Oh, it's almost like you have a teacher and you have a student and somebody's watching somebody as they work. 
learning everything. This person completely, they don't want this to come out. Whoever this apprentice is, yeah, they don't want this to come out. This is a partnership, okay? Somebody was working alongside. Oh, they don't want this to come out. But we got to do it. Listen, they were working alongside of this. I'm going to call him the Trinidadian minister, high priest. And they were learning from this person. This person was teaching them how to do things, how to access doors and portals, how to do good work. Somebody took it and abused it. Okay, something got a hold of this person. The reason I think this uh, minister is concerned is because this person could have taken something that they gave them in faith to use and or help others. And they opened up a door, some type of symbol. I'm seeing somebody draw a symbol. Gatekeeper. I just heard Marin. Marin. M-A-R-I-N. Marin. And my stomach started to bubble a little bit. <laughs> Water, marine, some type of marine spirit. Seven of cups is at the bottom. Cups, water. Yeah, water, water. This person wants a fair trial. Something that they did innocently, but behind this minister's back is where they feel they violated the law. They violated spiritual law. Somebody took something that was good and tried to do something on their own that they weren't authorized to do. See, this is the thing, just commercial break for those people that, you know, just want to jump into religions and, and jump into ideologies. Listen, the spirits choose you by way of the creator of all things. If that's not your lineage, that's not your lineage. So some people, you know, they go into Ifa and they're like, oh, well, I want to be a part of Ifa. Well, hold on. Is that your lineage? You're going into territory where, where you could misalign yourself by way of your destiny. That's not your people. That's not your group. And I'm just using that as an example. So somebody went to try to do something, uh, you know, with good intentions, but they violated the law and it turned out really, really bad. So what it's doing is it's almost like because this priest gave this person the secrets, they feel as though they deserve a fair trial. This priest feels as though they deserve a fair trial. Clarify, please, and thank you. Yeah, King of Cups. This is somebody that cares, loves, uh, is, is very diplomatic. You know, um, it's kind of person that works in the light. I'm going to be honest. 99.9% .9 of the time, this person works in the light. They transmute energy. They work with very powerful spirits by way of their uh, bloodline, by way of their lineage. They are high ranked initiated by their forefathers. Somebody has been studying this since they were a child, a shaman, a healer, Trinidad. I'm getting Trinidad, okay? Yeah, Trinidadian daddy. Somebody's a father to many, loved, uh, very well respected. Whoever this apprentice is, you know, they took this person under their wing. Yeah, they're weighed down because they gave this person uh, the secrets, okay? I don't know if this person's their son, or if this is, just, I'm, getting, I'm getting, no, this is a godson. This is somebody that was in their house, okay? This is a father. This is a padrino. Somebody violated the law by trying to do something behind this person's back. And they violated this relationship. They violated spiritual law. Clarify, please, and thank you. Ten of Wands. Somebody's saying they deserve a fair trial. I believe it's this minister because he's saying I did everything. Yeah, I was fair with this person. I did everything right and in order by way of integrity. So the spirits are listening to him because his lineage, his bloodline, his ancestors is who he has to adhere to. They're saying, why did you give up our secrets? Why would you give this secret to somebody that's not of your bloodline? But he's saying, this is my son. This is my son by way of my soul, by way of you know my soul tribe, by way of my child. This is my son. He's defending this person, or at least he was. Six of Pentacles, he was very, very fair. Sharing is caring. He shared his wealth. This person helped him, assisted him. Okay, he could do a lot of spiritual work. He has a whole house dedicated to spirits. 
holy spirits, his ancestors. He's made a lot of money, a lot of wealth. And this person, his right hand man, this apprentice, a younger guy, a younger person studying, learning, took some of these secrets. Now, some of these secrets he stole. And this is why the spirits are not being so nice. Some were given away. Some he saw this man work. This man taught him, is teaching him. I'm seeing somebody drawing symbols. Okay, y'all bear with me as I get this visual. A symbol. A cross. Okay. A box. Some type of box. Cross box. Something with the something with the cross in a box, but they opened up a door to a marine spirit that is like pissed off. Somebody did not have the spiritual rank, knowledge, okay, and permission. I just heard clarify, please and thank you. Rectify. This King of Cups is saying, I'm getting a fair judgment. I'm innocent here. Yeah, they're not playing. They're ruling with an iron fist, though. They're ruling with integrity. They're ruling wisely. Yeah, they're being guided by the spirits to denounce this person and leave this person out in the cold. My cat is crying, so this person could be crying. Whoever this young guy is, yeah, this is somebody that they really cared about. Knight of Cups, this is somebody after their own heart. If this man does not have biological sons, he took this man under his wing as a son. The Hierophant, he's coming up high ranked. He's very well respected and loved, y'all. I just need to translate this message, what I'm feeling from the spirit guides. He's very well respected in the spiritual world amongst people. He has favor with the gods. He has favor with men. He has favor with the creator. And now here he is having to cut somebody off. Whoever this son is, they're crying. They're sad. They're, they're just... King of Swords, he's got to cut this person off. It's almost like cutting off your right hand in order to save the rest of the body. And this is how he sees this person. This is somebody that he welcomed into his home. This person was supposed to be in his house, okay? As a God child, as I'm getting God child, okay? But this is my son. He treated this person like a son. He had planned to pass this down, whatever this lineage is. He talked to the spirits. They said, yes, this is right. This is in order. And somebody violated the spiritual contract by way of trying to use certain magic techniques to hide something from him, putting them in the Ten of Wands, weighing them down. So this person has got to make a head over heart decision with the King of Swords. As emotional as he is, as much as he loves this young man, this apprentice, this person, He's got to rule with this with this sort of truth by way of seeing things as it is. Okay? Yeah, he's seeing something from a different perspective. He's saying, I'm dedicated to the spirits. Period. Head over heart, disciplined. He's telling himself the truth in the matter. Okay, this is somebody that was, whoever this person was, clarify this person, this younger person, they were to inherit everything person has no biological sons he could probably only have daughters he's leaving this person out in the cold oh shit damn this person's begging crying five of pentacles he's leaving this apprentice out in the cold so that his house continues to prosper the spirits are telling him, you have to cut this person off. If he did this to you once, he will do it again. This is not a problem that can't be fixed. Not for this high priest. Absolutely not. It's an easy fix spiritually, right? Because the spirits respect this man. This person's decent and in order. If you go to this person, they know how to cleanse. They know how to take a disease off of you. They know how to work with certain deities. They use their power for good. Somebody is really out here doing that spiritual work. This is the guy that you go to. That's a good guy. Okay. The spirits tell him what to charge. And if they tell him not to charge anything, he doesn't. He's got great integrity. Wow. The Hierophant and the King of Cups to the King of Swords, but they're telling him you got to cut this person off. If you allow this person to do this to you once, he will continue to do this and it's only going to get worse. So now this person is making a head over heart decision to cut off his only begotten son. 
He's also having a meeting with other practitioners, high ranks, and they're having discussions. They're doing some type of divination. They're opening up a door. They are channeling spirit and the spirits came down and made it abundantly clear. You get rid of him or we get rid of you. How much do you love this person? Because this person is affecting this person's practice, their destiny. He didn't see this coming. It's unfortunate. Okay. The spirits always know. The spirits always know. So he's saying to the spirits, like, why would you tell me, you know, not why would you tell me, but he's wondering, why would I feel as though this is somebody that I'm supposed to take into my house, take up under my wing, somebody that I'm supposed to teach only for him to betray me in the future? Do the spirits not know? This is what he's saying. <laughs> spirits are saying, listen, you ask us questions that absolutely make no sense. Don't ask us a question if you don't want to hear the truth. We knew that he would do this. However, we still gave him the opportunity because the lesson was for you and him both. And now it is time for you to leave him out in the cold. This young man's about to lose everything. He's about to learn a really hard lesson by way of karma. This man has been thrusted into the dark night of the soul. This king of cups, this king of swords, this hierophant, this high ranked, beautiful masculine. Oh, he's just, his energy is so wonderful, y'all. It's so honest. It's so noble. It's just good character you know, embodied in a human being with a decent guy. He has everything that he can, you know, he has everything that he needs, I was going to say, to help this person, but he's being guided not to do so. He's being guided not to help him. This person's begging at his house, calling him, trying to find him. But every time this person approaches the house, the spirits come after him. He's begging for forgiveness. He wants to reconcile. He's asking to get a new beginning. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry. He's still lying. This is why the spirits are making him suffer. Torment, torture. I just heard torment and torture. When you got a father like this that decides to adopt you spiritually and you go against them. Somebody was going to inherit everything. The spirits tested him. Okay. So now this king of cups is saying, well, who am I going to leave my inheritance to? Because if he wanted it to be a boy, a man child, he wants to give this power to a man. He feels as though that is right. We'll get more into that. But listen, this person wants to reconcile. Ace of Cups, he's begging to the heavens, to the gods. Please give me another chance with the Ace of Cups. This King of Cups, King of Swords is being guided to walk away from this person. Do not look back. Do not help him. As hard as this is, you're going to have to make a, heart, a head over heart, excuse me, decision. He loves this person. He showed this person a lot of gratitude. He gave to this person. He made sure that this person was okay. He always told him, listen, don't rush it. You're going to get everything that you need. I'm going to give you everything. I got you. Don't worry. I got you, right? This is what he told him. Somebody wanted to rush the process. Somebody wanted to go against spiritual law. This is exactly what they did. And so now they're suffering a very heavy consequence. I just heard their ancestors have turned against them. The spirit world and the most high has turned a deaf ear. Whatever this person tried to do, they, this is the thing. They lied about it. They did it and tried to cover it up and then lied about it. So you tried to take something that somebody taught you. Do it on your own. Excuse me. Do this on your own when you absolutely had no authorization to do so. Right. And you got a master that's teaching you to be a leader, not a slave. Oh, what a foolish, foolish move. Again, Queen of Swords on that ass. This person is being guided to cut this person off and do not look back. This is what they're being guided to do. Don't even think a thought towards this person. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands. OK, so there's a daughter that is destined to inherit. Yep, this power. So he's asking the Loa, he's asking the spirits, he's asking them, well, listen, if I don't pass this down to my man child, to this man, who am I passing this down to? There's a queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's an older daughter or a younger daughter. I heard, uh, what did I hear? Younger daughter. There's a young child, okay? 29 years old, I just heard, that is set to inherit the power from this masculine. Which in some ways is unheard of, but the but the spirits have made a decision that she's the one, Queen of Swords. She's coming up as a Queen of Swords. So this is her. King of Cups is coming up as the King of Swords. This is her. 
She's smart. She's intelligent. She's wise. She knows what to do. She's a great communicator. She has great work ethics. She's honest and the spirits have been watching her. They knew who she was, okay? She could absolutely work with her father, but not in the way that he favored this adopted son. Spiritual, a spiritual adoption is what I'm getting. She's an empress. Cannot make it up. Cannot make it up. This queen of wands is noble, wise. She's the one that will inherit this power. And so this is like, this is like, sending a whole bunch of people into a frenzy with the three of pentacles. He's meeting with other men who are high ranked and he's saying, how is this possible? Is this what the Loa are telling me? Is this what the spirits are saying? Our ancestors are saying that this woman is to inherit everything that I know by way of my secrets. They're saying yes, but she's just a child, page of wands, but she's very fiery. She's absolutely a fire sign. She's very, very powerful. She's balancing out and or transmuting energy naturally without even trying because of how pure she is. I just heard, ooh, the spirits like her. They love her. They walk with her. They protect her. And she's not initiated. She's initiated by blood, by way of lineage, but she's not initiated by way of this, this masculine, this father willingly giving her, you know, uh, the gift or passing it down. Because at some point, this man knows, listen, you know, we all come to, to live and die. We didn't come to stay. We're just passing through. So all of what I've acquired by way of knowledge, by way of money, by way of wealth, by way of spiritual, um, my spiritual reputation is very high. I can't take that with me. It has to be passed down to somebody. Clarify. Yeah. The child with the gift. Woo! Knight of Pentacles, honey. He said, I thought it would be a boy. <laughs> Here's the funny part about it. It absolutely will go to a man child at some point in the lineage. But for now, it is going to this feminine energy and she will give birth to a man child. This king is asking to reincarnate and come back as his grandchild. Okay. In the future, this is, this is him asking the spirits to appease his request. Oh, okay. He wants to come back as a boy and he will clarify this daughter could be pregnant right now. Okay. All right. So this is a version of himself being born through his daughter. Okay. Somebody needs to keep up. This could be a little spiritually over the top, but for those spiritual gurus, if you understand, yeah, I just heard, listen, it's, it's, it's something interesting. Clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, listen, whoever this other person is, it's like everything is fine. The spirits are saying, listen, we always have a plan B. It's okay, Ten of Swords, okay? That other person betrayed him. When you took his secrets or you took something that he showed you, I just heard he didn't give you everything. He was kind of spoon feeding this person to see if this person was trustworthy. He loved this boy. He wanted this child to be his son. Okay, whoever this young man is that's now in this Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles that he has to walk away from by way of the Eight of Cups, Two of Swords that tried to hide something from him is now way down with the Ten of Wands. He forced this father figure to get into the King of Swords energy. Okay, this is a, this is a young man without a father. Maybe didn't know his biological father or, or lost his father young. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify, please, and thank you. Ooh we, yeah. This is this is crazy. Okay, Queen of Cups is a mother. The Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, Scared, Terrified. Oh yeah, look, Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and your father has turned his back on you, or the person you knew as your father that took you under their wing. They're being forced, not even forced. They're being advised by the spirits to walk away from you and leave you out in poverty and let you suffer like a bum in the street. I just heard that everybody's going to know that you crossed the kindest, giving, most giving man, high ranked divine minister in Trinidad. Somebody's on the street. Somebody's begging for bread. This person's mother, whoever this person's mother is, Queen of Cups, I don't know if she's still living. Clarify. No, she's not. 
He's been cut off from his spiritual protection. She can't help him in the spirit realm. I just heard. Oh, we because of this spiritual violation. This is like not being able to go to your ancestors for help. Yeah, I can't make it up. Seven of Cups. This person's going through mental psychosis. Nine of Swords to the Seven of Cups. Their mind has been smoted. They're literally left out in the cold going crazy. They played with some type of marine spirit. Okay, deity, water spirit, whatever this is. And, and she is tormenting him. I hear her saying, oh, this is what you want. A very like strong, um, she's strong. She's an old marine spirit. Whatever this is, I don't, I'm hearing marine, mama marine, mama of the waters. Okay. Something of that nature. She's saying, this is what you want. Yeah, he's crying. You hear my cat? Seven of Cups. Listen, nine of swords to the seven of cups. Somebody does not know what happened. <laughs> like they're literally uh, going crazy. Somebody's literally gone crazy behind crossing this person. This King of Cups is saying with the Loa, with the spirits, okay? I deserve a fair trial. My intentions were good. It is not my fault that this person crossed me. And they're saying, take this as a lesson, nine of pentacles. Yeah. Take this as a lesson to not allow anything to infiltrate your bloodline, your lineage by way of secrets. Okay. This was a lesson for this king, though, for this king of cups or this hierophant, especially because the spirits knew that he would do this. Hold on, y'all. The cat is knocking at the door. Okay. <laughs> Somebody could be crying, knocking at this person's door, literally. Hold on, y'all. The cat is so funny. Hi, ma'am. Would you like to come in? Okay, well, come on in. Can you have a seat? Thank you. Uh, 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 don't touch that. So listen, y'all. This person is begging, crying in the street, crazy, losing it, talking to spirits, Something about this person being trapped. It's almost like they're underwater. <sighs> this marine spirit is torturing them. So it's like I'm getting the spirit is saying, if this is what you want, oh, this is what you want. So I'm going to give you what you want. And so the spirit is giving them whatever they wished, whatever they wanted, whatever it is. Okay. And then they try to cover it up. Two of Swords, Page of Cups, Apology. This person conjured up this marine spirit for money. And so, again, violating this, this is a spirit of greed, a spirit of um, greed. Because this man was already giving to this person. So this marine spirit is saying, oh, this was not enough for you. You're greedy, okay? You're lazy. You don't want to work. You don't want to wait to inherit what this is, that this man's going to give you everything. Why would you take from somebody that would give you everything? Six of pentacles. He was making sure this person was okay, taking very good care of him. So they conjured up this marine spirit for money, page of pentacles. So the marine spirit says, okay, you're going to pay with your life and your soul. Dang, this is a harsh ass judgment. This King of Cups is getting a fair judgment, though. Six of Swords. He's healing from the heartbreak. He's taking it as a lesson. He has to be emotionally stable and in control. I'm not going to say that this did not bother him. This absolutely did hurt his heart. Five of Cups. He's having a regret that this person failed the test. Yeah. He's seeing them as somebody that is reckless. Somebody that took a chance. Somebody that, um, you know, did something without, without understanding the consequences, especially once he had already explained to him the nature of spirituality. He understands certain laws. He's telling this knight of wands, listen, or even if this is not a knight of wands, he's coming up as a young guy. If he's not a fire sign, he's a young person because I'm getting page and young. He's very immature. So he conjured up this marine spirit for money. The marine spirit says, oh, this is what you want. This is what you will get. The spirit is tormenting him. Nobody's to go near this person. This person's cursed. Two of Wands. Somebody saw this coming. 
Two of Wands is something about foresight, something at a distance. Why is that there? Yeah, the ancestors, the spirits saw it coming. They knew that this was going to happen. Okay. They knew that this would be a lesson for this Trinidadian. I'm getting Trinidad. Trinidad, dad, 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 dad. He's so wonderful, though. What a great guy. The Hierophant, the King of Cups, and the King of Swords, he rules. The only time he goes to war is if you really force his hand. Otherwise, this person moves in love and light. He does. He's honest with his work. He's so sweet and kind. And, you know, he wants a better world for the people in his environment, for his city where he was born. Uh, he prays for people. So when you're seen out in the streets as somebody that is marked, this person is wearing the scarlet letter, somebody that is a, a blasphemer, somebody that is a rogue, okay, R-O-G-U-E, somebody that's a traitor, treason, a thief, you know, it's like they cut off his hands and his feet so that he can't move along and cut off his hands so that everybody knows that he's a liar and a thief. He's marked. He's known as the man that went up against the kindest man. And the ancestors are saying, do not go near him. This has to play out by way of destiny. And this king of cups and this hierophant is saying, I deserve a fair justice and judgment. Two of wands, the ancestors saw it coming. They warned him. Wow. Yeah. They warned him. This person has no will to live, but can't die. Like the spirits are not letting him die. If he tries to shoot himself, the, the, the bullet's going to backfire or something like that. Like he's like, put me out of my misery. They're like, no, 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 no. You're going to live this one out, boo. You're going to live this one out. Wow huge violation you're you're working with one of the most powerful kindest men in trinidad and you silently were in competition with this man are you crazy if you weren't you are now okay well listen this is what happens this is what happens when people see powerful people or they don't know how powerful they are because at some point somebody felt like you know you got to give me this they felt entitled yeah this person stabbed this person in the back. Stupid. Silent competition with a man that's loving, caring, and kind that's teaching you the secrets, how to help people, how to open up doors, how to whatever. I just heard his mind is so smoted, he can't even remember any of what he was taught. It's like the, the spirits gave him the gift of knowledge by way of putting a great teacher in his path, a father. That now he don't remember nothing. He's just in the streets begging. Drawing stuff. Yeah, like drawing, trying to figure out symbols and talking to the marine spirit. And the marine spirit is just driving him crazy. It's like when he eats, he's not satisfied. When he drinks, he's not satisfied. It's like, listen, whoever this person is, Lord have mercy. Let this be a lesson to everybody. Okay, when you think you coming up against somebody, you don't know what's backing them. Now, in this case, somebody very well knew. Okay. Knight of Cups. This man had love for this man. Yes, I'm not here to negate this person's, you know, love for this person. But silently, at some point, they felt as though they wanted to be better than this teacher. This person is coming up as all the kings. Why are you playing with whoever Trinidadian dad, 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 dad is? Hi, Pri. Shout out to you in the energy field, uh, ethers. Uh, I know this person is aware that I'm telling the story because the download came to me urgently. I need a fair justice, okay? And the spirits are giving this person a fair judgment. This person's never violated spiritual law, never did anything uh, this is like Christ-like energy. King of Swords, King of Cups, the Hierophant, the King of Wands, they're all the kings. The only king that's not coming up is the King of Pentacles, and he's that too. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Fair justice and judgment, righteous judgment. 
cannot make it up. The wheel of fortune. This person has been very, very fortunate in the earth. Favor amongst the people. Favor amongst men, women, and children. Nobody goes up against this person. And so here you got somebody that's right next to them and you try to go up against them. Listen, the people in the town are talking. This person's the biggest talk in the town. Like I said, Ten of Pentacles. He helps the people. Family. He helps families. He helps people. He gives to the needy. He feeds people. He is like their president. I don't know who's nominated to be their president, but this is their person. This is the man that they respect. So everybody saw this person as somebody to be respected because they were this person's right hand man. They saw this person as this man's son. So the people in the town, the people that knew of this young man who was an apprentice, was a son in this man's house by way of this is my spiritual God's son. This is the son that God gave me. I will give him my inheritance. They respected this person. Now they're watching this person out in the streets and they know if this king of cups had to turn their back on them, then so shall they. <clears throat> because this person makes good, good like decisions. They don't act impulsively. They don't react to everything emotionally by way of being in an imbalance. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Can you imagine? Just on a commercial break, that's like being so close to the to the goal, so close to the inheritance, and then you do something because you can't be patient. You open up a door, conjure up marine. I'm getting marine. Water also represents drowning. Somebody's drowning while they're still alive. They're underwater, baby. It's like somebody being in a fishbowl, confused, lost, seven of cups. Seven of cups to the nine of swords. Somebody can't sleep. This person's physical body is restless. And this person is not going to help this person. And the people that back this person are backing this person. Three of pentacles. This person cannot collaborate with anybody. The three of pentacles is in reverse. Somebody has been socially outcasted, but made to be an example, walking the streets. Everybody knows that they went against this person. People are being guided not to give and or feed this person or they will be cursed. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Three of Pentacles is like a severed contract. We can no longer collaborate. Uh, you think? Okay, well, that's pretty obvious. Conflict, social anxiety. Somebody's just walking around. Isolation. It's like they're everywhere but nowhere because they wanted to be the maestro. They wanted to be the teacher. They could have gotten everything. Clarify this daughter. Because she's the one to inherit everything. Yeah, look, this king of pentacles. I told you he's all the kings right now. He's all the kings. Whoever this is, it's somebody high rank that comes from a long line of divinity. I'm getting like the, the direct lineage of Yeshua HaMashiach. Okay, somebody that is like the spirits just love, you know. If they make a mistake, it's innocent. They have great integrity, great work ethics. Look. Seven of Swords. This person's keeping quiet about who's to inherit because the people are talking. Well, if it's not this guy and this guy's been casted out and now he's an abomination and the spirits are just kicking his ass to and fro, like taking him on a run, honey. Who? Why did you do that? Who? Who's the next in line? This King of Cups is Hierophant. This King of Swords, King of Pentacles, baby. Listen, yes, he deserves for people to kiss his feet. He is that one. He's very noble and he's for the people and he makes rational spiritual decisions. Seven of Swords, he's being very, very quiet about who's going to inherit his powers. Somebody knows, like they're talking, like what's going on? People are like, well, who's going to be the next in line? Well, you know, he don't have no son. Well, what da, 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 da. they're just trying to figure it out. Oh, but he has a grandson that's coming. <laughs> he has a daughter. He's holding on to this information. He's being very, very quiet. He's not obligated to divulge this information to anyone outside of himself. The only people that know are the spirits. And they're not people. They're spirits. <laughs> He's being guided to just hold on. Okay. Okay. This is what he's saying. Yeah. Listen, the nine of cups. His wishes are being fulfilled. Nine of cups represents a grandson. He's saying, I need a man child. Will the spirits give me a man child? Yeah. Listen. This is, one of, this is either him coming back or a powerful ancestor or a combination of the two through this child. Whoever this man child is, he will be raised up in high honor and he will carry on this work. 
But this woman is the one that gets the power, right? She will always be protected. Nobody can touch her. There's a protection on her by way of the spirits because of the child that she's supposed to give birth to. That if anybody tries to come up against her, they just might as well just check out. Just don't even try it. Okay. You know, <laughs> it's just, okay. Oh, I'm going to hex her. Well, you know, okay. Good luck. You don't be knowing what's backing people. And you go try to attack them and you don't know what's backing them. And now, if you didn't know, now you know. Okay. Nine of cups is nine months. Okay. This is a baby breathing underwater. Cups are water. This is a nine months. The Empress, she's going to give birth to a man child okay he will see this child before he passes i just heard yeah whoever this other person is ooh, there's conflict okay there's conflict there's conflict because in order to pass this power down to this man child it first has to go through this woman by way of rites of passage by way of her being a portal to the spirit world to allow this child to come forth so what does that mean? A certain father, a certain lineage must fertilize this seed. She can't be with everybody. Her father is choosing who he wants her to be with. He could have thought that this God, child, son, whatever was going to be the one. That could also mean that as well. Okay. Because I'm getting my son in law, in spiritual law. Uh, Yeah, he could have, you know, uh, maybe considered that the two of these people would get together. Okay, but now there's conflict. Not for him, but for the contract. The spiritual contract. They're going to find her somebody. Yeah, this is going to be a victory. Fair, fair, fair. Listen, they're going to find her somebody. Six of Wands is victory. Page of Cups is a child. Okay, you see that baby coming through here? Caring, loving, kind. This person is going to rule with integrity, kindness, be gentle. It's a happy surprise. Who is this new father? Okay, yeah, somebody's got to listen. So here's the agreement that this person is making with these deities. In order for this child to be born, this person has to absolutely um, not sacrifice themselves because they're not under severe judgment by way of doing anything wrong, but they know that when they pass, this child will come into the world. They know that that's the only way to do it. Number 13, taboo energy, but it's not taboo. It just has to be that way. So whatever body of work this man is doing, it is dedicated to this man child that is supposed to be born in the future by way of this daughter that is chosen to inherit the power. And she will give birth to a son that is more powerful than her and more powerful than this king of cups, king of swords, the higher fine. This is, this is a decent retribution. This person knows it. He's finally going to get his son. This is the way he sees it. I'm finally going to get my son. I'm okay with that. Okay. It's a new day. He's happy. He's doing his work gladly. He knows that his day will come. Okay. They've already told him when he's going to pass, which is very rare, obviously. You know, to have that much respect amongst the spirits that you know the day that you must transition. Okay. He's keeping this a secret though. The moon, he's hiding it. He's not sharing this with everybody. He could be withholding this from his daughter as well. Obviously, he tells her certain things, you know, she she's very strong spiritually. But he could be he keeping this from her as well. I just heard she will find out soon enough. She will figure things out. Yeah, the spirits will come to her and explain it. Okay. Yeah, wow. Yep. Page of Swords. He's watching her. He's watching over her. He will always be there to watch over her and guide her and guide this child. Page of Swords is like heavenly realm type of, of, of spying. He's saying, I will be, you know, uh, over this child. I will walk with him. I will... Give him more than what I've given any other person because he is a version of myself. This is how I live forever. So the spirits are allowing him to live forever and ever. Okay, listen. But now there's a partner that's coming. Okay, yeah, look, he's celebrating. He's celebrating the fact that his lineage gets to live on because this person 
had to have been outcasted or he could have cost him his whole like bloodline. Like, yeah, he had to protect himself from this person. Nine of Wands. Okay. Clarify the Empress and who the father is. Okay. Yeah, look. The devil. Capricorn energy. Oh, okay. They're still talking about this young man. Okay. So spirits are saying that this, this person was greedy. They're in bondage. They could have had everything. Can you imagine inheriting everything from a king such as this? Wealth, honor, integrity, that people respected you just because you were with this person? All you had to do was, was earn the respect of, um, I just heard your lineage. Whoever this person's mother is, this person's not even allowed to connect with their ancestors. Like the spirit, like the door has been closed. If they're crying out, they, they can't help them. Because they're saying, listen, we put you in position to be this great person and you, you bound yourself to the devil. So you're bound. Okay. Yeah. Strength. Power. Whoever this new person is that they're going to put this empress with. Okay. Yeah. Listen. She's going to heal. She could have had a crush on this man too. Yeah. They could have known that this person was destined to be... Um, her person. It's a separation. She's hurting. She's hurting for her father. She's hurting for the family, the business. She's hurting. This empress is heartbroken. So she needs to heal before she even considers to be with somebody else. And I feel as though they weren't together. I'm getting a no, but this is somebody that at some point, uh, the father knew that they were supposed to have a spiritual contract. I don't even see a new guy here. Is this going to be like immaculate conception? Like the Virgin Mary? The hermit is here. The spirits are going to impregnate this lady. <laughs> I don't know. The father's saying somebody has to be worthy, but the spirits are saying we will choose the person, okay? Because we need somebody to fertilize the seed, but hey, it can't be anybody. The hermit is Virgo energy. Coincidentally, you know, the spirits are joking right now. They're being funny with me. It's how I feel. They're like, yeah, the Virgin Mary. <laughs> Okay, this woman could be untouched at 29 years old. Ooh, I heard, yes, Lord, have mercy. You made it to 29? Lord, have mercy. Ooh, Lord. I said, I heard of pure and honor, pure honor. Yeah, look, for this man, he just getting nothing but towers. This person is standing by watching. He could be like trying to pass this person's house and he just keeps getting tormented. It's a tower, yeah. This hurt this empress because she really wanted this person to be, uh, she held this person in high honor because her father held him in high honor. She respected him. She was happy that her father got a son. She. This is a really beautiful daughter. You know, she treated him like a king out of respect for her father, knowing, who is it's a tower. This hurts her. Yeah, she's thinking about the past. She's thinking about how much her father invested in this person. She's being guided to move on. Wow. Judgment. She is walking, breathing karma. She's called judgment down on the situation because she feels as though that's fair for her lineage, for her father. Whew. How is this child going to be born? Yeah, listen. I don't even know what to say. I don't even want to read these cards. Four of Swords, look. The Four of Swords, the Chariot, Knight of Swords, and Eight of Pentacles, Toil and Labor. Ten of Cups. She cared for this person a lot. She's being forced to close this cycle out, close this door. They could be doing things spiritually to separate from this person. Wherever the mother is, she could have already passed over. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, because I don't see this man having a wife. The Emperor. There's somebody coming into her life and she's going to have the Ten of Cups. Whew, Lord have mercy. Her father is going to see to it. Because again, he needs to protect the lineage, protect the empire, I just heard. Lord have mercy. This is the message though. Um...
just like y'all, I sit back and I look at the downloads and I'm like, wow. I just heard family structure all in the family. Somebody's all about family. This person was their family. So to have to discard of him, get rid of him was at the advice of the spirits. And they're saying, yeah, it's either that or we destroy everything. This marine spirit is not to be played with. Whatever he conjured up, I don't think he knew what he was conjuring up. This is what happens when you tap into lineages that don't belong to you or bloodlines or whatever this is, or just violation of law, spiritual law, thinking that you're not going to get caught. He tried to hide it at that. When he was approached and or questioned, he tried to hide it. This marine spirit said, okay, this is what you want. No problem. It's like somebody chained, okay, with shackles on their feet, a weight at their bottom of their feet, weighing them down and pulling them into the water, drowning them. Somebody's walking around like they're walking underwater. I just heard a fish out of water, but drowning. Okay. All over the place. Stop playing. Stop playing. Just because you see somebody, oh, I want to make a, you know, relationship with you, my yacht. Listen. By way of the creator of all things, by way of divinity, they have to choose you. You don't choose them. The hell? This ain't no joke. This is the message, though. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. If this resonated with you, I'm really glad about that. I'm going to be honest because I feel like for somebody, this is a lesson. For somebody that's listening, you could have been right where you were maybe going to try to do something and dibble and dabble at some shit. Or maybe you seen a symbol or two on a hoodoo channel and you like, oh, I'm going to draw that symbol. Okay, keep playing. <laughs> don't, don't you play. I'm trying to tell you. This resonated with you. I'm happy. If you want to donate and it's on your heart to give, then do it. Do it from a gracious and, and grateful place. Be a cheerful giver and I will be a cheerful receiver. I'm grateful. Thank you for appreciating my body of work for me channeling this energy. If you're being guided to just sow a seed of good light into me, I appreciate that. Thank you. Because I absolutely am praying for all the people that are divinely walking their path. And I'm asking that you get everything that you need. So I send that beautiful energy right back to you. I always come in peace, love, and light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace be with you.